Tompkins. Thank you, thank you, ladies. You know, <laughs> I started stand-up comedy when I was 17 years old, and now, here I am. But don't feel sad, because <laughs> when I first started, I had a series of day jobs. It's a term we use in the business. And uh, the first and worst was a hat store by the name of Hats in the Belfry. <laughs> Let me walk you through that title. You know the expression, bats in the belfry? Meaning that something's a little left of center, a little crazy, not quite normal. <laughs> this place was gonna be fun. Folks, what is more fun than trying on hats? Nothing. <laughs> Without a doubt, the most fun hats to try on were the fanciful costume hats we had up on the wall, and folks, this was every kind of hat you could imagine. Why, there'd be an oversized 10-gallon hat, like you were a cowboy in a cartoon. There'd be a Roman centurion's helmet. They're not still around, or are they? <laughs> there was one specific hat that had a very specific name, and ladies and gentlemen, more than once this happened. Someone came into the store, I was working there by myself, this person pointed to the specific hat that has a specific name and said to me, yeah, let me see that king hat. <laughs> it's, not, it's not called a king hat. <laughs> it's called a crown. <laughs> you know this, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> you ever seen a king? They're pretty grand. I don't think they're gonna settle for king hat. <laughs> More than once this happened. Six months later, totally different person. I'm working there by myself. This guy comes in, hey, can I see the king hat? What is happening? <laughs> More dictionary changes? The best I could figure was, two people got together, they decided they were gonna drive a perfect stranger crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll go in first, king hat. You go in six months later, you're gonna wanna do it sooner, half a year minimum. <laughs> Neither one of these geniuses purchased the king hat. Oh, you won't be buying the king hat today? You won't be buying the king hat using your value papers? In that case, let me show you to the go-away hole. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. God save Australia. <laughs>